That's the trailer for Food Chains, which opens in more than 25 theaters around the country today, in both English and Spanish. Heard more. We're joined by one of the film's key players, Gerardo Reyes Chavez, farm worker, organizer with the Coalition of Immokalee Workers. He's helped lead the group's success, getting 12 corporations to join their fair food program, including McDonald's, Taco Bell, and most recently, the retail giant Walmart in January. Participants agree to pay a premium for the tomatoes in order to support a penny-per-pound bonus that's then paid to the tomato pickers. Soon, the fair food label will appear on Florida tomatoes at stores participating in the program, including Walmart, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. Gerardo Reyes, welcome back to Democracy Now! I'm Gerardo Reyes Chavez. It's great to have you with us. Talk about you, um, this latest, well, uh, Walmart, I mean, the world's, what, largest retailer, that you got them to sign on to this. What does it mean? Uh, well, it means a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, first and foremost, is it means an increase in wages for workers, because um, Walmart is going to be paying the penny uh, per pound, uh, in the same way that the other 11 retailers um, have been doing. Um, but also included on that agreement, we have um, the expansion of the program to cover other states. So right now, the program covers about 30,000 workers uh, in Florida's tomato industry. But then, uh, starting on May and June uh, of 2015, that's going to expand to every state along the east uh, coastal line. Uh, uh, one question. Some companies have yet to sign on. And I know when I was out in Ohio State, there was already a student movement there trying to get the university to divest from Wendy's, because Wendy's is one of the companies that has refused to join mm -hmm. your program. Could you talk about the divestment movement on this issue? Yeah, there's um, well, interestingly enough, uh, when we started the campaign, uh, we were asking Taco Bell to join, uh, to pay the penny per pound, to condition their purchasing. Uh, to cut purchases if necessary when growers will refuse to fix any of the, the problems in the fields. And um, at that time, uh, Emil Brolick was the president of Taco Bell. Now he's the CEO of Wendy's. Um, and mm. the students know that they have a lot of power. They already showed that to uh, Mr. Brolick. And um, for some reason, he's trying to resist that. But at the end, I feel that the movement, uh, the consumers, but princip uh, mainly the students, um, are going to have a lot, a lot to say about it. So it's just a matter of time before Wendy's come on board, we feel. I see you have one of the papers you have in front of you is a Wendy's protest. Uh -huh. Which, which uh, protest is this in the country? Well, um, as part of the, of the film uh, that you were uh, mentioning um, a, a little bit earlier, uh, there's going to be about 12 protests uh, and more that are being organized um, over the weekend of the 21st and some protests over the weekend of the 28th. So we have protests here uh, in New York on Saturday. Uh, at 3 p.m., uh, after the screening at the Quad Cinema, um, we're going to march from Union Square to uh, uh, Broadway uh, to, to protest Wendy's. I, I want to play another clip from Food Change, which describes how supermarkets are controlling prices and squeezing.